Last time on Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> it was harrowing. Is that why they don't tell us what it's about? Boo. I know I'm- The adventure continues. Hey, okay, this is the guy. If you don't flirt with him, then I disown you. <sighs> oh, um, <laughs> uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. He wants you. I need to go. <laughs> no! Uh, Be nice to him. Hello, Colin. Th they picked me as the Templar to strike the killing so blow if, if you became an abomination. It, it's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? Uh... Would you have really struck me down? I would have felt terrible about it. But, um, but I serve the Chantry and the Maker, and I will do as I am commanded. Far. Fine. Uh, <laughs> elsewhere? What, what do you mean? Three. Oh, my goodness. I, if you're saying what I think, well, that would, no, that would be really inappropriate, and, no, I couldn't. I, I should go. <laughs> he fucking pulled the shepherd. Yeah, run away. Sheesh. Cassie forced me to flirt with you and everything, and you just run away. God. I'd be a terrible woman, apparently. I wonder how the one. king's army fares at Ostagar. I've heard talk of a new blight. It goes terrible. But do not worry, at some point in the future they will have a new adorable thirsty. Grey Warden, who will kill all of the bad things. Hi. Oh. It's great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. Yes, yes it is. Hi. Oh, it's you. I hear Irving's looking for you. Yes, I have heard that several times. I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Why? Who knows? I'm not going to ask her why she's irritable. Women hate those kind of questions. Okay. But I, I just talked to her and she... Ah! This is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Yep, just spoke oh, to him. Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Okay, I hope he has that for you. Hi. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Yes, I am. I've already been keeping him waiting. I'm running around in a circle. See? Look at me. I am walking around in a... Hi. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. What are you doing? Bless... Oh, hello. I'm reciting the Maker's blessings. Would you like to join me? I... Uh, sure. Wonderful. I'll start over. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. I don't exactly know the blessings very well. Perhaps I should lead. Blessed is the prophetess sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Thank you for praying with me. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Are you in trouble? No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. It's all right. I want to know. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Curse. 
Magic? What else? You don't like having this power. Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. You could use your abilities to help people. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry. But they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Maybe you should stop being a dumbass. I mean... Dear it, be nice. Well, it's just a suggestion! Dear be nice. I'm trying to be nice! Dear be nice. If she stops being a dumbass, be she nice. can use her magic to help people, and then she wouldn't feel as bad about herself as she seems to because she thinks she's all evil and shit. And I don't even think she's done anything, so... Oh, hi. I heard this is not you being nice. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Sure, we'll go with that. <sighs> You're horrible at being nice, dear. Magic! Oh, Many hi. have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? Since when have you felt such kinship with the Mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the Mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their Maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. You sent for me? Ah. If it isn't our new sister in the circle, come, child. This is? Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Sure. Uh... Pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Uh, why? Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. What do you mean? The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor girl with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. My phylactery? You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within the phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. I am glad to be part of the circle. It goes without no, saying not. that you shall not discuss <laughs> the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. I will do that. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? 
Eh, uh, sure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Uh, I'm sure you don't enjoy that idea very much. Hi, Duncan. I'm, I'm just gonna... It is begun. Yeah. I'm just gonna run around this room examining things, so... Okay, I think... Yeah. Hmm. I will take you to your room, or... Wait. Hi. Don't dawdle. Fine! <laughs> Won't dawdle then. God, I'm going. Sheesh. Oh, hey, I can level up. More magic! No. All of the magic. No. None of the magic. Uh. That's not the living quarters. That's not the living quarters. No, that is the living quarters for him. Here's your room. No, it's not. Damn it. I thought I had it. <laughs> thought I had it. No, it's a little further. Sorry. Here Thank you for escorting. No problem, Mr. Duncan, sir. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, what's happening outside the tower? Ah. I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? We are permitted to walk the grounds. And thus a good view of the other side of the lake. It must feel rather isolated way out here. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. How many mages joined the King's When army? the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I ask King Kaelin's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. How many mages could you possibly need? I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Hmm. Will you fight with the King? Of course. But I am no mage. Mages heal. They can call fire and ice down upon the enemy, and so much more. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. <laughs> As an apprentice, old men talking have defined my life. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they did. Can you tell me more about this? Certainly. I'm intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Have there been many? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. Ooh. We Grey Wardens believe that an archdemon is leading the horde. Ooh. Sounds ominous. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Okay. And the king is mustering an army. Yes. Perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Please? Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Hmm. I don't see why they can't get along. The Chantry believes that a mage should fear his power. It was the pride of mages, they say, that brought the Darkspawn upon us in the first place. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. 
In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? What are your opinions? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. That's pretty smart. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Feel like Is there something else I can do for you? Did it? Yeah, I missed, like... Have you ever seen someone use blood magic? Once, in my youth, just after I joined the Grey Wardens. I was traveling with my mentor. We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. They were quite far away, so I cannot be sure of what I saw. He forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. It was dreadful to behold. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. I'm sure he was just trying to survive. It is something to consider, certainly. Do you know anything about the Tranquil? The mages whose connection to the Fade has been severed? Why do you ask? I am curious as to what non-mages think. It keeps them and those around them safe. Perhaps the sacrifice is worthwhile. I cannot say. I should go. Do not let me keep you. You should stop that.